Hello and welcome to the Just For Gamers video game podcast. Episode 205, My Little Shit Heap. In this week's episode, we miss one. Says mate. JFG Ash gets dividing again. He loves it. JFG Alex is not a pedo. Yeah! There's news on Google taking on the consoles. And finally, the funk is back. Hello and welcome to the JFG Podcast. This is episode 205. My name is Alex and I'm joined, as ever, by my very good friend, Ash. Hey, buddy. How are you doing there this week? Hey, buddy. As always, feeling good on a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Sparkling mm. thoughts give me the hope to go on, buddy. Uh, this is a... I've heard that about We're coming me. back from a two-week hiatus right now. We missed one. We, mi- we fucking missed one. It, you're, you'd be surprised that it didn't appear on the front page of every newspaper across the globe that we missed one, yeah. but we didn't get anywhere near the sort of coverage I was expecting. I know, I buddy. thought people would be so angry and livid, there'd be messages <laughs> coming at us left, right and centre. And, and it just, I was expecting yeah. to get oh. papped outside me door, yeah. coming out of work, you know, just like, have you got any comment on the the fact that you missed the podcast last week? For all they know, been like, we could have both died. You know, we could, we have, could have both be, died. We could have been no dead. No one even questioned no, it. No, not even one question. I mean, I was no one. I have been chatting in the Discord <laughs> for the past two weeks, so probably gave well, the game away. But you, <laughs> Somewhat. you could have been dead. I could be yeah. dead. But I guess people would have thought you would have maybe mentioned maybe. it. Although, you know, that would have been your prerogative, really. But, uh, yeah. yeah, no. Fuck that guy. Uh, we missed one. Yeah. It was unfortunate. It was a series of unfortunate events. Yeah. Um, that, uh, so the plan was last week, um, Tuesday, uh, I only had one child. And we were like, well, Wednesday's Liverpool fucking Bayern Munich, I think, wasn't it? Was it that game? Which they won. Which, they, uh, yep. which was very nice. I like that. And um, we're like, well, let's get this done on the Tuesday then. So we we get sat down nice and early. I think it was like 8 o'clock. We were like, fucking hell, this is going good. And um, yeah, my computer was just a bag of wank, really, wasn't it? The, all the USB ports just decided to stop working, which was... Yeah, and you're going to need those. I kind of need them. So... Just a little bit with my USB headset, USB microphone, and keyboard and mouse. Actually, the keyboard and mouse yeah. was fully functional, but for some reason... Which which was actually more annoying. Yeah, I think so. Like, because, like, what the fuck is that? So, I, I don't even know what happened, but you ended up having to do, what, like a full format of the computer? Yeah, and, like, so... install Windows from scratch? Well, no, like, Windows 10 has, like, the restart mode, uh, which uh, wipes yeah. everything apart from, like, all your personal data and shit. So I was like, fuck it, I'll do that. It'll just get rid of every single program in sc- uh, installed. Um, so got that done. Only took, like, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes t- for the whole thing to just kick back in. And then I was like, right... Start installing stuff again, and yeah, I, I've got the I, I've gotten rid of a lot of fucking shit that was on my computer. It seems to be running a million times better now. Um, before when I was doing the streaming, which obviously we do every Wednesday, apart from last week, uh, we're streaming this live right meow on uh, Mixer and Twitch. There's something wrong with our YouTube streaming at the moment, but I will be investigating that. Um, I think there's there's probably something wrong with actually actually YouTube, buddy, rather than us. Yeah, I think, I think that so. It's prob- probably we're fine, and and it's a a worldwide outage of YouTube. Yeah, definitely. Every Wednesday, Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. 8 GMT. Yeah, for about three hours. It's just like no, you can't stream yeah. to us. Yeah, possibly. They keep fucking us. Um. So yeah, normally when I'm streaming, I've got your video going. I'm recording with like Audacity. I've got fucking spotify playing what am i listening to today i've got i just went for game soundtracks it's playing loads of random songs from games it's it's a bit weird i don't know where it's going to take me next you know uh at the moment let me just check where i am at the moment uh we are listening to 
Dead or Alive 4, probably. No, I'm on um, Gustavo Santa... Oh, oh, la, 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 or whatever his name is. Um, Last of Us guy. Last of Us guy, yeah. There you go. I'm listening to some yep. some of that Last of Us right now, which is nice. I mean, this song's a bit, a bit scary. I'll take it, though. Um, but yeah, my CPU usage is like half of what it was before I formatted, so I'm guessing... My computer's doing some shit that it shouldn't have been doing. Um, I always expected Windows Update because that's probably what it was. But you never know this day and age. Maybe it was something dodgy. Typical fucking Windows. Yeah, mate. I love it. Um, What was I talking about? Yeah, we were talking about how we didn't do a podcast last week and now we are. Yay. (laughs) Here we are. Here we are, yeah. Check that shit out. We got more to talk about than we would have had yeah. because of the fact that we had some things to talk about last week, which we didn't. Yeah, so I might as well go yeah. through. I mean, I haven't really got much since last week about what I've actually done. Um, two things, mainly. Um, oh, yeah, one of on. which I've spoken about, which is sorting out my PC. I've been stripping some wallpaper. You know, avid watchers of the live stream will notice that the walls in this room look really shit right now. Um they look like um, just bare walls where at some point someone's painted on them. Weird thing, when you take um, wallpaper off and you find writing on the wall, always makes me a bit uneasy. You know, in the bedroom, I was stripping it and um, there was just the words, my name is question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm like, oh shit. That's a bit, oh, it's like that that's a bit scary. Jim Carrey film. What was it? The number thirty something. The mask. The number thirty. The number thirty four. I don't know. I don't think I've seen it. Jim Carrey. Yeah, number thirty four. Google that. The number th- twenty three. Twenty three. Close go. enough. That'll do. Just goes fucking mental, right? It's twenty three all over the walls and shit. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Uh, that's what I thought I was going to uncover, but there was there was just like yeah. little phrases here and in there. Something about. Uh, takes time to get perfect or something and then there's something written underneath that which i can't see <laughs> he was thinking just thinking out loud he was as yeah. he was putting the uh, just writing on the wall the house together it's just right yeah. it's weird um yeah so i've, I've, I've got to get the um, the walls replastered we had a guy come around the other day to um because we've got that fucking artex shit on the ceiling uh, and i'm like no yeah. get rid of that i just want it nice and smooth so i can you know Wipe it clean when I jizz on the ceiling. Well, yeah, and it's always going to go up there first, isn't it? Yeah. Pew! The sheer force of it. Yeah. Like a torpedo. Exactly. Jizz torpedo. Yeah. So stripping walls, yeah. that went on for too long. Um, I've, I've been, I went swimming with the kids. That was nice. Went swimming in the swimming pool. Uh, my favourite hangover cure. Swimming, if you haven't done it whilst hangover, try it. It's amazing. Best feeling ever. Um, I won the game of buying games, obviously, last week, buddy. Picked up The Division 2. Played that for a while this week. Just a few hours. I'd imagine you'll be talking about that this week. I'll try. Um, Yeah. And yeah, I've been doing a bit of streaming the past couple of days as well of The Division 2 because I'm really enjoying it. Well, most people would probably argue that that more than makes up for the lack of a podcast last week, Well, exactly. You've done your... You've done your duty streaming for six and, hours you know. in in a couple of days, and you know there you go. Yeah. That's that's just the same as doing a podcast. It's yeah. just as well. That'd be the end of it. Then. There you go. So yeah, buddy, that's my couple of weeks really in a simple nutshell. How about you? How is your uh, what's Fortnite? That's the word. Been. Yeah, I'm just um just eating a bit of chocolate. What? I'm all right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't just, have chocolate very often. Uh, um, I literally scoffed down uh, one of them fucking Marks and Spencer's double chocolate chip cookies before I came and started this podcast. I feel so ill right now. Just fucking wolf. I was it. like, just you know, down it goes. I was like, I just have half. I ate like two bites. And I was like, fuck that. It's all going in. Blah. In yeah. my mouth. I, I don't know why. I'm not hungry. I don't need chocolate but, in any way. No. Went to uh, Pizza Express for dinner this evening because it's a two-minute walk. It's literally around the corner. Yeah, <laughs> I bought a 
the Pizza Express pizza from the supermarket the other day, buddy, and um, there was a voucher embedded in the toppings of it. Right, like you do with food. Just put bits of paper in it, yeah? That's how it's done. Um, and, yeah, it was a voucher for, like, two for one uh, on mains and starters at Pizza Express. I was like, we'll fucking go down there then. It's podcast night. I'm not cooking. I didn't go home till like, 20 past six. Like, fuck this, I'm going down there. So we did. So, yeah, I've had... Um, they're doing some spicy lemon and thyme wings there now, buddy. So that was pretty fucking cheeky. And then uh, some sort of, sort of thin crust... Romana, they do a carbonara version now, buddy, with a cream sauce on it, and uh, yeah, Mwah. gotta say, <laughs> <laughs> bellissimo. <laughs> gotta say, yeah, no. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that was cool. Uh, that was tonight. You know, just that's kind of the way that I fucking roll. Um, nice. So like yeah, what it. else? Uh, l- Obviously, we're going back a fortnight. I went to a two-year-old's birthday party in a village hall. Um, I knew the two-year-old personally, and yeah. not just from pictures online. Um, nice. So that was, that Andy. was fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, in uh, the missus's family, it was it was it was the two-year-old's birthday. Uh, she had the party at the village hall, buddy. They had the, the uh, they had the bouncy castle in there, semi-inflated bouncy castle. Uh, we were told that it was only at like eighty percent, and that was fine for like two year olds. Yeah, um, but not fine for uh, everyone, everyone else. No, so okay, cool. That wasn't great. Um, I also, <laughs> they because they were like <laughs> age range of like two to five. I mean, they just didn't really seem to give a fuck about the bouncy castle. It was it was a desolate wasteland of uh, an inflatable for the most part. It was just seemed like such a, a, a just a waste, such a waste. You know, I'd have been on there nonstop. Obviously, you know, yeah, you just would, wouldn't you? Yeah. So that's what it's there for. That was that was disappointing, but I took great solace in um, essentially me and the missus just. Named all of the children, um, gave them nicknames based on like what they looked like. Fat cunt. Uh, if the, yeah, there was a stupid one. Yeah, um, <laughs> with, stupid. Like, no. bl- <laughs> he, was, he was. Yeah, he just looked a bit windswept, and he was in like a dressing gown. Uh, he looked a little bit like Kevin McAllister, so we <laughs> we, we called him called him for some reason. We just went with the actor's surname, so that kid was called Colkin. Nice, um, I like it. That's what we went with. Yeah. His old fucking Colkin, Colkin. in the ball pit yeah. again. Look, Skulking Colkin, all, all yeah, all windswept in his in his fucking robe. <laughs> there he is. Was. Why is he in a row? There was one we, <laughs> one who had a really upturned nose. We called her a pig in the city. Um, she <laughs> was just absolutely dicking on all these little children, and it really did make it tolerable. Nice, no, um, I like it. No, it was it was fine. It was a good party for if you were a two year old um, or had children. Yeah. Um, so obviously I had a great time. Um and then we w- went back to Medway. Uh I'm not going to talk about it. There's nothing to say. All I can tell you is we went to Medway. We then left Medway. At no point was I stabbed. That's a so I mean that's a good trip. I'm riding my luck at this point getting in and out of that fucking shit old buddy. Absolutely it's, right. Uh, you know. At some point I'm going to get absolutely fucking riddled. It's going to happen. Just <laughs> but it, fucking but it, holes everywhere, mate. <laughs> we like Swiss cheese, buddy, but not just yet. No. Uh, what else? Um, a few huge thumbs down to Bill's Restaurant in Lewis this week. Obviously, um, it's quite far reaching. The podcast they're going to hear this. They're going to be very disappointed. Definitely, with themselves. definitely. Um, this a lot of our listeners, obviously, are around the sort of Lewis area yeah. and frequent Bill's Restaurant there. Mm. Um, don't go there. No I more got, will uh, they visit a voucher. Bills. I got a, a voucher for for brunch for my birthday off of my sister. I was like, we'll fucking go down there. We're going to have brunch on a Sunday in Lewis. Sounds good. And it didn't start well as you arrived in Lewis and there were three people asleep on the pavement. You know, they got a bit of a problem <laughs> down there. Um, <laughs> and the, one of them was being carted away in a fucking van. It's like, that's that's nice. Off to brunch then. So we go in, Bills. They they fucking find us a table, buddy. They seat us at that table. 
And then they ignored us for 20 minutes. That's nice. No I mean, said a word. They were just letting you settle in there, I guess. You know, get comfy. And then we left, um, and no one even noticed that we left. <laughs> so there, there was like 10 staff in there. And they're just a bunch no, of no cunts, really, I guess. Yeah, fuck that place. Yeah, um, okay. How, however, Bill's in Tunbridge Wells, buddy. Good shit. Good shit. Nice. Yeah. Uh, went to Cassidy's with friend of the podcast, Paul, to watch Arsenal Tonk United. That was fun. That's always fun. Um, followed it up with a bit of takeaway and a bit of watching that F1 show. You seen any of that F1 show on, on the old Netflix, buddy? I haven't uh, yet. It's on the agenda. I, I ended up watching uh, Afterlife, the Ricky Gervais one this week, which was... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all about de- well, death, you know. It's always a, a fun topic. Ma- Melancholic. Makes yeah, you think. Absolutely. I guess. <laughs> <coughs> funny though yep. it is funny um, parts of it yeah. yeah I need to give that a go worth a watch yeah. I'd say the, um, <clears throat> the F1 thing's really good really enjoyed it a little bit dramatised in places but quite a surprising amount of access like there's quite a lot of stuff that you see and you're like oh I'm surprised that the team's allowed that to yeah. be filmed yeah, yeah. like people bollocking each other like some of the race <laughs> bosses like all of it's like super sweary as well because obviously like it's not all pristine and censored like the tv coverage is obviously and, uh, yeah it's pretty good pretty enjoyable nice uh what else uh i went to the mexican kitchen you know it's been two weeks buddy so obviously i've it's been, been out, out for out several meals a lot you know in two weeks yeah. mexican it's kind kitchen. of a thing it's uh opposite Cassidy's actually so it's conveniently located near the flat nice um yeah very tasty very tasty indeed had an enchilada loved it um and that's about it really watched the Grand Prix on Sunday enjoyed the Grand Prix uh good fun good to see that back looking forward to Bahrain at the weekend um and played some games this week, which is good because I hadn't played any last <laughs> week. So uh, <laughs> that was kind of important. Yeah. Um, of course, the topic for this week's podcast is video games. Obviously. Although, again, you'd have no way of knowing that. Who knows? As we, as we hit sort of the, I don't know, 16th minute of the fucking thing. I reckon um, so. It only really remains before we head into what we've been playing, buddy, for me to ask you this incredibly important question. And that, of course, is what are you drinking this evening, buddy? On this evening, buddy, I am on. Pause for effect to the shipyard. There you go, buddy. Oh, tasty shipyard. Very nice. I've got got three of them left over from Friday. And I was like, yeah. Uh, Mainly this week, I've just been drinking pints of gin because my kids are shits. Really? Oh, yeah. okay. And I was like, <clears throat> uh, finally in bed. Time to have a pint of G&T. It's always nice. Uh, it's like you on the shipyard, buddy. So uh, what you want, buddy? I can see uh, it's a bottle of some sort. Uh, I'm on a large bottle of Stella. Oh, it's not the pint cans. It's a large bottle. Is it close to it's a, a pint? Bottle. Or, uh, you know, <clears throat> you're, you're trying to be good it's by cutting... It's more than a pint. Oh, it's more than a pint. He's stepping it up. Nice. Uh, 660 mil. Yeah. How much is the pint? Like 563. Yeah. Okay. I got that. I've, then I've got this can, uh, Cause Light. Just uh, Cause Light if, Chaser. If required, <laughs> if, if required <laughs> I do have another I'll of the Stella. The, and of course. A large bottle of Stella with a <laughs> Cause Light Chaser, please. <laughs> Cause Light Chaser. <laughs> and, it, you know, obviously I've been to Pizza Express, buddy, so I've had what everyone has when they go to Pizza Express a large Peroni. He's had a large so, Peroni uh, as well. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I had that one to wet me whistle. He's going now, all around the, around the world. Stella. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I'm going from Italy to Belgique. Belgique, yeah. To... Like, Watford. To... Uh, Canada? Where's Coors from, originally? Coors is an American yeah. beer, but I don't know where this one was made. Uh, Burton on Trent. Burton on Trent, as are <laughs> most beers. Um, yeah. Let me check. All the American beers are made in Burton. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Wal- video Wolverhampton, games, I guess, buddy. Uh, for me, which is you know, oh, Wolverhampton shipyard, yeah, American beer, yeah, Portland's Portland's finest, I believe. Wolverhampton, Wolverhampton. Yeah. There you go. Very similar, Portland and Wolverhampton. Very similar places. I mean, stones throw, really. New York and Burton, yeah, similar, exactly, very similar, indeed. Right, games. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to have another piece of chocolate, buddy. Okay. Um, Let's go and talk about what we've been playing. 
So, buddy, obviously you've been playing the old showstopper, the the, the major player, the big event of uh, this this past sort of week or so's uh, releases, and that, of course, is the Division Two. Um, so, I'm sure you got some stuff to talk about there, buddy. You played anything else? Yes, mate. I just need to mention Anthem. Um, okay. Quickly, um, I finished it. Um, me and some of the guys got through it. Uh, big shout out to Trophy Annex for helping me get through that. <laughs> Um, got through it. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. That is it, really. <laughs> I got through the campaign, and wow. I feel in previous podcasts, I kind of praised uh, praised it for its campaign, but also slated it for being uh, not accessible in a co op, you know, environment. And I, I think I stand by that, apart from. The ending, which is fucking terrible. Um, I'm going to speak for like 30 seconds now, so spoiler warning if anyone actually cares about this game. Um, So, big old final boss battle, yeah? You're fucking beating shit out of him. Everything's going good. And you think, yeah, I'm going to, we're going to fucking do him in. And then he's got like a quarter of his life left. And then, out of the sky, fucking spaceship comes in and kills him. What the fuck? Is it supposed to be funny? It just sounds annoying. Well, the whole thing about it, I guess, is you're uh, you're in a team of like three people, and one of them's like an old timey javelin flyer, whatever they're called, freelancer. There you go. And he's like, "Oh, I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee, kind of thing, or whatever." Uh, and, yeah. And he realizes that he can't do it anymore, so he's like in this. I think it's called a strider, like some kind of shippy thing. And then he gets the final kill uh, on this big boss by flying into him and obviously surviving, you know, which is fine. And then after that um, is the most cringeworthy cutscene I have ever seen. And this is, you know, competing on the levels of Need for Speed FMV cutscenes. Oh, God. And I believe oh that it, it beats it um, due to the fact that, you know, um, the whole thing is you have to go and stop this thing. It's a cutscene, so you're watching it. You're not doing it yourself. You, you, this woman goes up to the big s- circle that's glowing. And she's like, wow, big circle thing. They stop it, and then literally they like high five afterwards, and they're like, yeah, let's go, guys, well done. And that's it. Like up until that moment, it's like so dramatic. And then as soon as it's done, it's not like shit. Is everyone all right? You know, have we done it? It's like, woo. Ooh, air punch and jump in the air, you know, like an anchor man, that kind of thing. <laughs> it's just like, so d- fuck do you me. think they just ran out of time to? I don't know. Bolt a proper ending on the thing, or I don't know. Is that poor? I don't know. That just doesn't sound very good. No, it's it's not very good. And it's in general, the the I think I mentioned it um, about the uh, actual like you know gameplay loop. It's it's not very good. The cutscene, uh, not cutscenes, there's just a million and one fucking loading screens in that thing. It's so disjointed. It's just a bad, bad game. I still stand by the good points about it that I've, I've said, um, but it's just not very good. I had a lot of high hopes with this game, and it's just a bit shit. And that obviously, and there was all kinds of issues, like it was bricking people's PlayStation 4s, which isn't good. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> well done. So yeah, that's Anthem anyway. That's done and dusted, I'd say, unless they manage to do something amazing, which I doubt. Another annoying thing is, right, in an RPG, yeah, you start off, like, in, like, shit clothes or whatever. You're in a do-raggy or whatever, just co- covering your Johnson. And then by the end of it, you're in this, like, super hyper-mega armor with, like, I don't know, shit off it. In this game, it's the same from start to finish. Nothing changes, really. It's a bit wank, I mean- isn't it? That's really weird because, it, like, that wouldn't really necessarily bother me, and and I obviously like it doesn't like bother you massively either. But at the same time, like this type of game, the whole point yeah. is surely like progression, and therefore like that's a massive opportunity missed for obvious character progression. Yeah, like, exactly. That's just it's a big it's, thing, like, vitally isn't it? important yeah. to this genre of game. Yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense not to. You got to look to fucking that, cool like, while you're tearing the biz down. You know. That's what it's all about. But yeah. It's strange. Anyway, that's the anthem. Um, so yeah, The Division 2, buddy. It came out on Friday. I've played 20 hours of that game. 
in four, five days, five days? I feel like that's enough. Um, with a full-time job and a family of five. Um, I don't know how I've managed to get 20 hours in, but yeah. It's, it's, it's fucking great. It's really good. Um, the, the game came out and it, and it worked. It just worked, you know, like yeah, games that was should unexpected. do. Oh, yeah, it was very unexpected. <laughs> um, so, I mean, fair news to them. They brought out, you know, uh, a game and it, and it ran, uh, unlike other games, <clears throat> Anthem and other ones. It's fucking massive. The map is huge. Um, it probably isn't that big, but I'll get on to why it feels massive in a bit. And it looks really nice as well, uh, especially compared to the original Division. Um, it's not set in fucking shitty New York where it's covered by... Like shit bags everywhere. Not shit bags as in people, as in actual bags of shit. Uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, the original game, it, it was one of those. Uh, to be honest, this is absolutely typical of a Ubisoft game in that the first game, and basically every game they've released this generation, has the. <laughs> It can look amazing and it can look fucking awful. Oh yeah, like, and trust there's, me, there's, there's parts no of it. Consistency. When it's still got like, that same issue with Ubisoft games of uh, like assets and stuff popping in and out and textures not loading like instantly, which is it, which happened in the division, the original division. You know, uh, it, it's still very similar, like looks wise in that um, aspect, but like the actual environment you're in is a hell of a lot more pleasing. Um, the whole yeah, like, yeah. Washington, whatever it is, state and stuff where you are, it's, it's, you know, there's lush vegetation. There's a lot more, um, like animal life and stuff going about it, Like every street just feels completely different. Whereas in the original division, you know, you go down one street and you, you pretty much been down them all kind of thing because it's just high rise buildings everywhere. Whereas this, there's all different types of terrain. And I'm only like about probably like four areas in i think there's like another four or five to go on this thing so there, there's a lot to see let's put it that way um loot wise obviously uh it's a loot shooter there's fuck loads of it it chucks it at you continuously those numbers go up and up buddy which always makes me feel good and then the colors start to change and it makes me feel even better so <laughs> you know how it goes it's nice and simple and it works. That's what it's for, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. So, you know. And it does it really well, uh, to be honest. Um, the variety of weapons are decent. I'm currently rocking a submachine gun and uh, a sniper rifle. Um, I, I like to do uh, ranged uh, combat on this, uh, that, just because headshots are very satisfying. That headshot thwack sound is fucking awesome. And you can get some uh, proper good damage on that stuff the skills mods and perks have changed up a bit uh compared to the first one so uh in the first one you had uh was it like four skills you had like the turret the seeker mine the health pack bag and like a shield or something i can't remember uh, anyway in this there's like eight different things you can have um a couple of so they brought in like four three four new things uh which were available but what is uh, good in, in this? So, like, um, each thing can have multiple, um, I don't know, offshoots? Let's put it that way. So, um, there's a drone you can get, uh, which is very good. And that can be, like, a healer drone. It can be, like, a sniper drone. Or it can be, like, um, just, like, a, a standard gun turret drone and all kinds of things. So, that, that's kind of mixed up a bit. You still have the ability to have two of them going at the same time. Um, the mod system, if you remember on the original one, uh, you'd be picking up different sites and different magazines and different scopes, which is the same word as sc uh, sites, which I said. Um, uh, muzzles, there you go. Uh, stocks, maybe, I can't remember. But different parts of your gun. Um, and they'd have different traits on it and all like that. In this, it's simplified a lot more. So you unlock a, a site for either getting a blueprint or doing a mission. Uh, and that is it just unlocked um and you can put that on any kind of archetype gun which you know fits that fit that fits that style which is in my mind 
a lot easier than the mod system before. Now, obviously, all of this could change at any moment because obviously this is a games as a service. But as of now, I'm, yeah. I, I think the <laughs> the mods is uh, systems working, uh, and then you've got perks as well, uh, which is stuff like you could you you pick up or you get another type of not currency. What is it? Just like XP. A uh, different form of XP, and you can spend that XP on different perks. Like headshots do extra damage. I can hold ten extra shit in my bag, and all, all that stuff. But they, they they seem pretty cool. So what I was talking about, how the map feels so big, is that there's just so much to do there. Let's put it that way. Um, obviously, you've got your main missions, which is like the storyline. Don't even ask me about what's going on in the storyline. Um, there was a funny moment yesterday when I was like, "What? I can't. Where, what? What's going on? Like, how? What time frame is this compared to the last one?" And uh, Evis, one of the guys that I was playing with, he was like, "I think this is like seven months after you know all that money." got injected with the AIDS or whatever kind of thing. Uh, and then he was like, oh, it's around Black Friday. And, like, literally 10 seconds later, I pick up, like, you know, the, the standard, like, mobile phones or whatever that are knocking about. And it said pretty much exactly the same thing. It was just weird how it happened. And um, obviously, apart from the whole thing of saying AIDS, because it's not AIDS, it's... I can't remember what it... Green Money death or whatever it's called i can't remember um green money death yeah green money death that's, that's the classic toxin that they they, they, that they used um but no. um yeah there's there's fucking loads to do on this map um like i said main missions you got your standard main mission side missions at you all your collectible things that are knocking about um uh, you have these uh, things in certain areas called settlements so these are areas where people congregate um, like good guys um, and they're trying to build like a, a settlement really and you go there and you help them like build up their settlement and from that you get better resources from them and things like that um, this is really cool because uh, the better they get uh, the more people they uh, attract like civilians and what you do see is when you're walking around the streets and stuff you see patrols of these civilians going out to get resources but then you've also got patrols of like enemies like going for the same resources and they start having like gunfights so like the ai is fighting each other over these territories and you're there you can you can fucking help or you can just fuck off and do whatever you want it's crazy it's awesome so yeah uh, um these uh there's things called uh control points so what happens here is uh the enemies have taken them over they control that and obviously you help uh, the civilians uh, take over them to help the settlements. Uh, I've said side, uh, side missions and also yeah, collectibles. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, the world just seems lived in. Um, like I said previously, with the the animals and, and wildlife, there, there seems to be loads of them, and like the use of like uh, civilians and enemies. So like, uh, and also like the enemies. Um, I was playing yesterday and. There was like four dudes and one guy is doing like press ups and like one of the other guys is like, yeah, my mum can do more than that kind of thing. It's just like, what? What's good? Like they're, they're just like, <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it, it doesn't feel like, you know, a gamey game. Like things are there for a reason. It, it feels more natural, which is, which is cool. Uh, it's nice. Yeah, and a massive positive over the first one, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So um, the the shooting and mechanics are, are pretty much exactly the same as the division. I really enjoyed um, the the shooting and like uh, the third person um, shit. I can't remember the word for it that I'm thinking of, but the, the third person shit. Um, the cover to cover system is still fantastic. One of my favorite cover to cover systems that I've ever played in a game. It's really good. Um, the the actual gameplay uh, scales like this. This is the best thing in the game. Um, if you remember playing the first division, like uh, I, th I think you and I think it was Pete you were playing with at the time, like managed to get like a, a good like five, six, or seven levels in front of me. And then when we joined up, I was totally fucked because. You know, I was like level 16, you were like 20 something. And I couldn't do any damage on the AI whatsoever. So it was a case of me just trying not to die. 
luckily they fixed that with scaling buddy so whenever someone joins your party or you join someone else it scales to the highest player so so i'm a level 10 i join on to a 16 it scales me up to like 15 16 and it just means that everyone can play with everyone and like it's fucking baffling that it wasn't in the first one uh, it's such a simple thing <laughs> um but it makes all the fucking difference mate uh, it's crazy. It just makes so much sense, yeah. doesn't it? Like it, totally. it has to be in there for yeah. a game that you want people to be able to play with each other. Yeah, exactly. Like, for ever and ever, I'm in. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's... Uh, the, the the combat uh, also scales as well, to, depending on how many people you have um, in your party. So uh, when you're playing solo, it, it's quite not easy, but um, yeah, easy. Uh, <laughs> uh, they don't rush you as much you can take your time you can clear a room and then move on uh, two people kind of the same bit more like a couple of them might charge you down three of you it's doable you know you've you've got to have a bit of communication there but when it's four of you it is insanely hard they they flank you they rush you they they are just they are all over you in an instant and if if you don't react to it or you know move out of the way or you know think of uh, another way of attacking the situation you you are going to die and it does prove for like uh, really intense battles where you know at the end of it you're like like most of the time we finish like a main campaign or like a side mission i'm like Fucking hell, that was, that was, that was, yeah, that was fucking intense. That was a bit that's much. Nice, man. Yeah, no. That's, that's but, kind of what you want, yeah, isn't it? Really, it, it for a really game like is. And some peril. Yeah, but it's never at the stage where I'm like, this is fucking stupid. This is just too hard. Like, that, that you, you always feel like this is doable, you know, with like however you do it. You know, you might squad wipe like a couple of times, but then you're like, okay, yeah, no, we just need to do that a bit better in that situation. We need to take out that guy first, like get rid of the sniper or the Man, mortar guy. Sounds it's, like they've just really worked hard yeah, on that difficult curve. Yeah, that's a yeah, really good sign. I, I think they have. A lot of people have complained uh, about it being too difficult with four people, but I, I, I think it's spot on, to be honest. I think it is. Um... The, the the last couple of bits that I want to say is um, at level 30, which is the level cap, uh, and you finish the campaign or whatever, the game gets crazy. Everything kind of gets reset and like a new faction. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, I think I called them the Black Hammer Gang. I'm going to stick with that. That sounds cool. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> they come in and uh, the the difference with these guys, they've got a lot of tech. Um, just like you have, you know, you've got the drones or whatever. These guys have got that and some. They've got like crazy fucking robots that can do all kinds of shit, buddy. It's, it, so it's have you hit that cap and no, finished the campaign? I'm like, like 20 hours. I'm only 15. I'm only like a level 15 and like I've done 20 hours. Like I was okay. saying, and like, there's just so much to do and each each bit is, is challenging. Like the side missions are very challenging and it's it's just... I don't know. At the moment, it's a very interesting place to like investigate and find out all these nooks and crannies because they're they're always seeing. I think JJ says it later uh, in one of his questions or whatever in Street Beat. Um, there's there's just always something there. Like you go down a road and there's something. It's it's very very good. Um, so yeah, it's it's a very very enjoyable game. Like it shits all over Anthem right right now. Like it's crazy. Um, it's it's definitely going to stop me going back to Destiny 2 for quite a while, I feel. Um, so, yeah, and a bonus is all the content, all the DLC content is free. So I don't see why I won't go back and do all of that throughout the year. So there you go. There's um, way too much about The Division 2, but I knew it was going to be, you know, the first one where we talk about it. So I had to kind of hit on all the, the fucking points about it. Next week it will just be like... The- yeah, go on, sorry, it's ma- like comfortably the biggest release of the year. Yeah, so, so it, far it, it warranted some coverage. Yeah, frankly, man. yeah, yeah. Oh, nice, so man. there you go, buddy. Apart from what we played uh, together on game night, that's that's me done this week. I I didn't have time to fit in any other games uh, because <laughs> I was busy uh, with the division. Yeah, doing some dividing. Just dividing oh. things. Yeah, yeah, just over and over again. I can't help it. You know, ah. Four divided by two. Uh, two. Yes. Twelve, twelve deep. Twelve T three. 
Okay. Yep. So, uh, yeah, uh, have you been uh, up to much then, buddy, gaming-wise? What have you been playing? Uh, well, the first thing is um, this weekend I took the opportunity finally to uh, switch the PlayStations around. So I've got... I have obviously had my PlayStation, which... Um, as I was reliably informed by that fucking video thing, uh, I'd, I'd played for over 9,000 hours. Standard. Um, whether it be that Netflix or games or whatever. Yeah, it's been on um, running. That fan's been going. Yeah, meanwhile, the missus bought her PlayStation 4 about a year after I bought mine, and she's probably played it for like 50 hours because Considerably she's always playing less. games basically with me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, as such, that thing's essentially a new console, and I've been meaning to <laughs> switch them for ages, because obviously my old, like, shit heap sounds like it's taking off all the time. Her one, like, it doesn't matter what you throw at it, it's, like, near silent. Yeah. Um, but obviously with the, well, I say obviously, but with the nature of the, uh, you know, the... I suppose protection, the security protection on the PlayStation, you cannot just switch a hard drive out and plug it into another one. Yeah, which you is a shame. To, um, you have to initialize the console from scratch. And uh, yeah, so I popped the old PS4 software on a USB and uh, yeah, wiped the console, um, put my two terabyte one in there and wiped it. And then yeah, spent the rest of the weekend downloading all of my games <laughs> like from scratch yeah. uh, which took took the whole weekend like constant downloading from like very early on Saturday morning until uh, I think it finally finished at 9 a.m on Monday um so yeah that was quite a lot uh, during that time I'd also been like obviously using the Xbox like streaming films and shit yeah and then downloading some games on the Xbox as well so <laughs> yeah it was uh it was what it was buddy but yeah now I've got essentially a new PS4 uh which is very quiet and uh took the opportunity to clear out some of the dead wood from my console stuff that it was installed for no fucking reason. Yeah, I've so, got so much of that shit. I'm just like, oh, you never. I might, I might play that. I mean, I might give it a little go. I yeah. did. I did delete Spyro, whatever it is, the other day. I was like, oh, I'm not going to play that game. Yeah, I'm I think so I am going to play that. I just haven't yet. Um, one day. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's really nice to have a, a, a PS4 that's basically like fresh. And uh, G fresh, yeah. G fresh. So yeah, there you go. There's that. Um, elsewhere, what have I been playing? Uh, I've been playing FIFA on the PS4, my career mode. Obviously, I'm not going to talk about that. That would be insane. Uh, <laughs> except to say that I won the quadruple with Macclesfield. He's the quadruple. Um, nice, well played. It's the quadruple. <laughs> uh, so that was a good run to the Champions League final, knocking out Barca and Real and yeah, fuck Dortmund those guys. They're well shit. Uh, and Man United in the final. Nice. So, yeah, suck a fat one. Um, and then I've just been playing Xbox because, uh, as everyone knows, buddy. Yeah, uh, go on. The Xbox is the greatest console on greatest Earth. Greatest console on Earth, yeah, I know that. It's the greatest. I know, it's, it's, it's greatest. a fact that that is the greatest console on Earth. Yeah, I mean, I've taken to calling my Xbox One um, the my goat. little shit heap. Oh, okay, not the goat. Uh, so, no, no. Uh, it's I've got my PS4, which is a console that has some form of power. Um, and then I've got my little shit heap that I can fire up and play, <laughs> play, Celeste on. play my uh, my <laughs> Xbox Game Pass games on. That's all you um, need. That's all you need. Yeah, a console where I felt no desire of any kind to buy any games for it. Why um, would you? Because they just keep chucking more at me all the time, buddy, so I don't need well, to. Well, you know, if you play the same games on an Xbox One S, they're not going to run as well. No. <laughs> No, they're not. I mean, so you play it on a standard PS4, not the Xbox One S, you know. It's a disappointingly shite console, but I really like it. It's kind of endearing. It's like the little plucky fucking... It's like Brum, you know, isn't it? Little, it's like Brum. Yeah, it's like Brum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got you. And obviously, like, there's different tiers of these consoles. Like, the PS4 is more powerful than the Xbox One S. The PS4 oh, Pro is more powerful than the yeah, PS4. And, I mean... The, if you're talking about power, just fucking buy a PC, really, isn't it? End of the day, yeah, if you exactly. want power, you just buy a PC. 
I mean, yeah, exactly. It's not the, the, fucking hard. One X. The One X is the most powerful console, um, right? But we're we're what a, a year or less out from the new one, so yeah, fucking cares. I know and, there's always going to be a new one that's going to be bigger and better until there yeah. isn't. If I really gave a fuck about graphics at this stage in my life, I would I'd buy, buy a, PC. a PC. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, wouldn't um, you? So in, in in the meantime, I'm just getting insane <laughs> value out of Game Pass on my little fucking shit heap. And um, <laughs> I've been playing some, <laughs> I've been playing some, some cool games this week. Uh, once they eventually load on the old little shit heap. Um, firstly, buddy, I need to talk to you about a game called Headlander. Yeah, go on. <laughs> um, Headlander is fucking fantastic. Is it like the um, film Highlander? It's nothing like the film Highlander. There can only it be seems one. To be made by. I don't know exactly who's responsible for this, but it, it's got Adult Swim all over it, which kind of gives you some sort of idea of the tone. Okay, got it. Um, and it's it's like a 2D... kind of looks a bit like Counter Spy, I suppose. A um, little bit prettier. Uh, you wake up and you're ahead in a helmet with no body. Obviously. <laughs> Been there. And the game, the game is... That you can plant yourself on the bodies. If there's someone below you, you can suck suck their head off. Um, right, got to suck that head. Suck their head off. Yeah, got to suck that head. Discard the head, and then you can dock with the body, and then you can run about. Right. So, so if your body you suck gets- their head, and then you do a bit of docking. <coughs> if your body gets damaged, then you can um, you can just basically like bail out and fly off as a little head somewhere else and then you know there's lots of puzzles no you need a red body to get through this door there's a little air vent above so you can just like fly up there as the little head (laughs) maybe like do do some sort of puzzle involving magnets because you've got your little sucker maybe you want to jump like dock with some system so you can hack it as the little head and then come back and maybe it'll let blue bodies in it's uh, it's just so intricate because you've got all of those sort of little puzzle elements, but then also when you're attached to a body, you can run around and fire a weapon, and you know, and then on top of that, a lot of the surfaces uh, deflect bullets. So there's a sort of crazy golf element where you're like on a platform up here, and three stories down there's someone else, and if you aim at exactly the right point in the ceiling, then you'll get the diagonals where you can shoot them. Like, but but they've trick got shot. line of sight on you as well, and they'll trick shot you back so it's fucking funny it looks great the uh the soundtrack's really funny there's a lot of real weirdness going on here like i was in some place called like the, i think it's called like the pleasure dome or something i've and been there's just a load of people there's a, <laughs> there's a load of people in this big room that's just like all of it is just carpeted like the wall the floor the ceiling like mauve fucking heavy shag carpet and it's just called like the carpet room and everyone's just in there sort of vaguely fucking noshing off just sort of like oh <laughs> it's, <just, laughs> it's fucking good it's so strange uh, i really like it Trevor um, Addicts in the chat has just uh put game sounds pretty fucked it's Ha-ha. very strange. <laughs> it's very strange. But yeah, it's it's got that beautiful like those old like Moonlander type games, you know, where you've got the give it the little boost up yeah. and then if you don't you kind of slowly fall down. So it's got all of these sort of different elements to it. It is essentially a puzzle platformer. Um but there's just so much to it and it, it's really beautiful production values, really funny script. <laughs> it's uh it's it's just so so enjoyable. It's a very fun place to spend some time. So yeah, that's probably my highlight for the week. I think. Nice. It sounds crazy. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, elsewhere, I've been playing Halo, uh, the original, um, the obviously the Master Chief collection um, with the misses. We've been co-oping our way through the original Halo. We're going to go through all of them. So we've got um, Halo, Halo Two, Halo Three, ODST, Halo Four, and then. I've got Halo 5 downloaded. That's not part of the collection, but we've got that as well. So that's game six cast. games. Obviously, Reach, um, I don't think is backwards compatible, which is insane. 
Um, That's it. I, I I know that it's coming to the PC version of the Master Chief Collection. There was news of that yeah, this week. Wasn't I there? really liked Reach. I thought it was I thought a cool Reach game. was cool. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I never played ODST, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, ODST was okay. Yeah, enjoyed it. <clears throat> Halo Two. I don't know if I ever completed, so I'm kind of looking forward to that as well. Um, I'm not looking forward to the end of Halo Three. Uh, but no, there we are. <laughs> so, so yeah, really enjoying playing through that. It's uh, it's a really nice uh, remake, that, and and the fact that you can just hit the options button and like switch between old and new. Oh, that's is, cool. Uh, it's really cool, and you yeah. can do that in split screen. Um, and there was a couple of times we used it to our advantage. We're in like a <laughs> massive field, and there's like dense bush, buddy. And I just fucking I just turned these graphics off. Yeah. Oh look, there they all are. Just shoot that their bush. fucking faces. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so. Fuck those guys. I like it. Gibbons. So yeah, a bit of Halo. A bit of Halo 1. Um, Just Cause 4 has, for some reason, been added to Game Pass. <laughs> of course um, it has. Of course it has. Um, so I've been playing a bit of that, and that's really fucking funny. I was going to say, how does it run? surprisingly well yeah? on my little shit heap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it runs it runs better than Just Cause 3 ran on the PS4. Um, that might not be saying that much. But mm. I haven't come across any 10 frames per second moments yet. That's and then sure. you're not playing um, the game right, buddy. You need more I explosions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's fun. I really like it. It's uh, just... I don't think there's enough story there. Like, it's fine. As, as far as I'm concerned, Just Cause is like a really elaborate, expensive version of Goat Simulator. In that, yeah. like, who gives a shit about the story in that game, the characters? Like, it's not very well written, but it is really pretty, and you can do lots of dumb shit. So it's fun to knob about there for a bit. Uh, it's certainly not a game I would have ever bought, but I'm quite happy for it to be on the service. Yeah, buddy. you can so, just play it, can't you? Nice. Yeah. So yeah, I've I've tucked into a few other bits and pieces. Uh, I'm very excited um, with the recent announcement that uh, they're adding that vampire um, Ooh, yeah. VAMPYR yeah. to Game Pass. That's coming before the end of the month. Uh, I was talking to um, my yeah my missus's brother's partner who uh, who really fucking loves this vampire game like quite obsessed with it and says like just the story is is really cool and uh, it's got like a great mood to it mm. so that's definitely something i'll be downloading as soon as it appears on the service and i'll probably be talking about that nice um, if not next week then the week after um but other than that buddy <clears throat> the only other thing we've really got to talk about is the fact that on game night we played some cod modern warfare remastered we did and, um and it was really fucking fun, wasn't it? It was lots of fun, buddy. Um, it was just so simple, you know. There wasn't any fucking about. It's like, come around the corner, shoot you, you're dead. Or I'm dead, depending on how quickly you get on that trigger. Yeah, it's, uh, they've done a good job with the, the remaster. I played the, the first mission of the campaign as well. Uh, it felt nice, looked good. I was like, immediately, I was like, I remember this game. This is how it works. And yeah, it is It is what it is. It makes you... Uh, immediately, when I was playing the multiplayer with you guys, it just made me hate modern shooters that little bit more, I'd yeah. say. I was just like, why, why did they ruin something so simple? You know, why did they have to add... 100 million extra things into these these games and you know with the sliding and the fucking oh, the jetpack jumping the wall running all kinds of stuff like that it's just literally i'm a dude i'm gonna shoot you and that's it like i don't even can you go can you crouch in this game you must be able to yeah you do like a slide but you um, can't no you can't i don't think you can slide in modern warfare remaster can you you can certainly crouch. Yeah, you can crouch, but I don't think you could slide because I think I tried it and I was like, oh, huh. just like grind to a halt. Yeah, it's just <laughs> yeah. like Ugh. just duck down really quickly, <coughs> and you're like, oh, now I'm going really slow. But no, it was it was yeah, it was yeah. It just made me think that the modern shooters are just wank. <laughs> I'm with you. I just yeah, I like I love the simplicity of this game. It's just about the shooting. It's not about anything else. Hmm. And I don't really care about anything else, so <laughs> it's <laughs> kind of perfect for me. And, uh, you know, a bit of nostalgia from some of those old maps. Um, 
Yeah, it's just a it's just a giggle, isn't it? It's just good fun. It's perfect game night game. Just yeah, like definitely about. jump in there, shoot some dudes, jump out. Nice and simple. Yeah. Gibbons. It's cracking. So we've added it to the roster on a game night, and I'm sure we'll be, uh, be kicking off playing a bit more of that in the coming weeks. Gibbons. So yeah, uh, that's that's me, buddy. I think unless you've got anything else, I suppose we should probably move on. And now it's time for the news. 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 All right. Number one. Number one. Uh, number Wang, let's talk about Google Stadia, buddy. Stadia, yeah. Stadia. How about it's that? new streaming service um, from Google is mm-hmm. their answer to a games console. Yeah, because... Um, it's going to launch later this year in yeah. America and Europe. Uh, they showed off a controller, which looks like a exact cross between a PS4 and an Xbox One controller. Yeah, it's like they, they fucked... Yeah, it really is. That's exactly what it's like. Um, although the PlayStation seems to have won the battle of the analog stick placement. They did. Uh, on, yeah. And that's a controversial thing, considering the gamepad of choice for PC users is the Xbox configuration. So, uh, But is it, or has that just been forced upon them? I don't really know. Oh. I don't really. I mean, it's pretty easy to use the PS4 controller on PC, isn't it? Yeah, it's Bluetooth, so yeah, that'll do the job. Just like the new Xbox One controller is now Bluetooth, kind of makes sense, really, doesn't it? Yeah, bit, um, bit of Bluetooth. Some, some of the things I really enjoyed about this reveal, one of them was the fact that they had a spec, which I thought was really quite funny um, and pointless. But of course, uh, this. This is a spec of the system you will be using. Uh, it's just the system you'll be using is in the cloud. So oh. uh, essentially we're talking virtual machines here uh, rather than an actual piece of hardware. Yes. Uh, this is going to be uh, a service that you can connect to in any Chrome browser, uh, on any Android phone, various other devices as well. And um, yeah, so they're quoting power. I'll just read it out because I just thought it was funny. <laughs> 10.7 teraflops of power. Buddy. Sure. That's, uh, yeah. And, about yeah. four teraflops more than an Xbox One X. Yeah. Um, 56 compute units. Love them compute units. Good. Got to get down with HBM2 them. HBM2 memory. HP source, yeah. Got you. Yeah. A custom X86 processor. Well, it fucking would be because it's virtual. It's so not even real. Got you. It's going to be quite custom seeing as it doesn't exist. Doesn't um, exist that. And <laughs> 2.7 gigahertz imaginary processor. Um, it's hyper threaded as well. Obviously, um, AVX two, buddy. Sure. Yep. Sixteen gig of total RAM. Total RAM. That's like the ultimate. Eighty-four gigabytes per second transfer speed. Sure. Uh, and an L two and L three cache of nine point five meg. So there's your stats for your virtual machine. Fuck yeah! Get them virtual stats up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much everyone who listens to this knows about this, cares about this, or understands it. But essentially, Google is providing us with a version of PlayStation now, uh, except it's Google. So presumably, it will work well and not cost thirteen pound a month to play PS3 games on it. You would have thought so. Um, this is a, you know, this is the future of video gaming. And uh, it's just whether the internet pipes of the world are ready for it yet. Yeah. Um, I think I think we are getting there now. I'm um, ready. I'm ready right now. You're ready to go. You've got your, so what, 200 meg? <laughs> You've got 300. 300 meg. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. ready to go. I'm um, ready to go. I've got about 65 meg. I would argue that's probably enough as well. Yeah, uh, and I I'm think. I'm on shitty fucking uh, fiber to the cabinet. Yeah. So, um, I think they they were doing like you know uh, you can run it on like a fifteen meg connection or something and it will downscale it to seven twenty p and I think it increases uh, latency by like 
20 milliseconds or something. Uh, the the stats were the latency um, on, I think it was like on a Chromebook or something, which has absolutely fucking no processing power whatsoever, uh, was on par with an Xbox One X. And I was like, well, that's not too bad, really. Um, uh, if you want to look into it, you're a gamer or... What's the people out of Digital Foundry? There you go. They've done a um, a, a bit of an intense video about this um, where they go into a lot more details about the stats, which are complete bollocks. Um, but then they go into the latency and stuff on there. Um, they seem to kind of praise this. Um, they haven't done any testing in a controlled environment, so they can't say what it'll be like on whatever kind of internet you've got or, or whatever, but from what they came out of it they seem pretty impressed with it and kind of want to learn more and yeah you know um i've i've used a few streaming service uh, services like on live was one of the first ones back in the day um that was terrible uh, obviously playstation now we, we've used our free month on that that was that was fine it worked i guess um wasn't too bad it works um, okay um uh, the most impressive uh, experience I've had with game streaming, of course, is GeForce Now. Yeah, and that's the next um, one I was going to say. GeForce Now yeah. playing uh, Destiny 2 in like 4K at fucking stupid frames per second with little to no latency. I was like, I'm happy with that, you know. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, the fact that it, like, a lot of people seem to have a massive issue, the fact that it's Google, I, I don't really understand that. Like, any kind of major corporation is a massive fucker, really, at the end of the day. Yeah, 100%. Um, so 100%. They're all cunts. Like, so. what does it matter if it's Microsoft, Sony, Google, Apple, fucking Toshiba? Exactly. Whatever, you know. If you, if you have a games console sitting under your television, then you cannot complain about fucking Google. Yeah, like, exactly. Of course <laughs> you not. You just can't. Right. And your fucking LG telly and your fucking it's, Sony it's sound a, bar. Yeah, exactly. like, come off it, dickheads. Honestly. They're all as bad <laughs> as one, of, one another kind of thing. It's not like oh they're super bad it's like maybe they got found out doing something yeah but like that's because they I mean, got what found you gotta out. look at is infrastructure really with something like this and yeah and Google they, have they've to, got they it have as, the server farms yeah. they have the server infrastructure to, to yeah to and you know like with place. the whole thing that they're linking this with youtube like the biggest gaming platform and in the world really at the end of the day isn't it well it's, it's their place to watch video games is youtube uh, has been for what the past 13 years or whatever it's been since it really yeah came around um so yeah they've already got a fucking massive subscription base there even if they do like free versions of this obviously you're gonna have to buy the controller but no that you can actually use i'm sure i saw somewhere you can use like any controller with the service you don't have to have yeah their one which i think is genius obviously it will work better with their one because they're saying that the the controller itself connects to wi-fi now, when they said yeah. that, I was like, well, what happens if I've got like a, a fucking PC that's hardwired and then my controller's USB into that? Surely that would be better than a Wi-Fi one, but maybe not. Who knows who? But they're, they're saying that it connects directly to the game in the cloud. Um, so there's no fucking kind of fuckery going on there. Who knows? Yeah, I'll I want an Ethernet out on the back of that controller. Yeah, I want to fucking hardwire that. I want to pipe that controller. Yeah. In. No, seriously, <laughs> why the fuck not? Real. Like, I mean, yeah. it's. It, I'm guessing it's going to have like a USB C charging port on it. Like, why not get a yeah, USB so you could get a- C to like Ethernet and then just fucking back like. Straight in your router, open all the ports, fucking fill your boots, little troll. Yeah, Go exactly. for it. <laughs> yeah. But I, I do like that there's a microphone in the controller, you know. It's to assist you, though, buddy, obviously. I I have to say, uh, since I got my smart telly, I've been using the microphone thing loads on the remote control. Are you a microphone wanker, buddy? Seriously. S- same I, same I, thing on, as on, fucking wanker. On YouTube, on the, yeah. uh, on the telly, uh, I... I don't type anything now i just hit the little oh, microphone button and say i mean it, it does make sense because the input on using a controller like typing on a controller is fucking terrible yeah, so it's miserable yeah. it takes if ages. you can just say fucking do it you can and it does it's bang it. on as well because obviously my diction is absolutely wonderful uh, as everyone can attest to who listens to the podcast obviously so, yeah um 
Yeah, and it's you know it's just like Google. My my telly runs on like Google Home or whatever. So yeah, well I'm I'm a bang fucking on. sucker for doing it in the car with my phone, like going the old uh, OK Google. It's gonna fucking pop up now and fucking ask me to do shit now. Um, but like if I want to <laughs> listen to like a certain song, I'm like <coughs> OK Google, play bloody blah blah. blah, blah fuck do do da and it's like yep off you go I'm like fucking sweet job done yeah it's getting there now it's getting mm. there well anyway this is uh, this is pretty exciting stuff and uh, anyone who's giving uh, like the major games players a bit of a run for their money it's a good thing for games yeah man you know, like all these things and like competition yeah. so fucking really mad cool. mad box studio though mate they're the ones to watch they're gonna be there they're gonna be fucking there slightly get mad that, they're gonna have their get that mad box their nonsense can do. it's gonna be it's gonna be something it's gonna be uh, fucking baffling i don't know what it's yeah. gonna be but it's gonna be there it's gonna be under your fucking chairs at e3 imagine that <laughs> fucking hell. here you go here's yeah. our prototype it's the size of a fucking boat here have you it go. you cunts yeah, yeah. Uh, cool so there we are there we are um number two in the news next thing sony has added uh, well, it's adding PS4 Remote Play to iPhone. That's four years after it arrived on Xperia phones, mm-hmm. and there's still no news on Android. So, good work there. Um, Microsoft took the uh, announcement as an opportunity to announce full Xbox Live support for iPhone and Android this week. Yeah. <laughs> so, although they haven't got a streaming thing there, but, you know, it's... It's integration, nevertheless, and I, I'm sure that they they'll be there in no time in terms yes. of the old streaming. Yeah, was it X Cloud yeah. or where it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely going to be an X X something. And, I think uh, I'm sure that's the name of it. I could be fucking wrong. I'm, no, I think uh, you're right. I yeah. think you're right. It's just uh, it's just obviously a shit name. Like yeah, Xbox is a shit name. Yeah, um, well, it, I feel like Xbox is all right. Uh, I think you're just numb to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you could wipe your memory like Eternal Sunshine style and then someone said, how about Xbox? You'd mm. be like, that's shit. <laughs> but I might be wrong. I, but, I, yeah. I think the fact that I know it came from the direct Xbox, that, that, that makes me feel better inside. Yeah, yeah. You know? it was, I liked the revelation my missus had as uh, we were introduced to Cortana in Halo. She was like, What? <laughs> Cortana, what like the the Windows Ten, like, uh, the Windows Ten <laughs> assistant? Yeah, I was like, Ugh. Yeah, don't kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like, so many people will not know that though, will they? Like, obviously, no, exactly. we're like, oh yeah, it's fucking Cortana. Well, good, that's awesome. But like, That's people are like, what's this fucking... Co- it's just like Siri, in it? Fucking Cortana. Who the fuck's that? <laughs> yeah. No, mate. Cortana will fucking beat the shit out of Siri any day, mate. I- I'd fancy Cortana to stab her up like them Electro girls, frankly. Yeah, mate. Bro. I mean, she's best mates with fucking Master Chief, you know? Yeah. Don't Who mess is, with her. Is heavily voiced in the original Halo and much more quiet in the others. Yeah. So, yeah. Sounds a bit like Hitman in... Oh. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I, I can um, gamble with that. Other things. I have, yes, other, way, yeah, keep I have going. other things to say. EA joined Sony in skipping having an E3 press conference this year. Uh, will instead hold their EA Play live streams before E3 begins. Uh, and saying before E3 begins, uh, well, for what begins? I don't know. Uh, they're <laughs> presumably too busy fighting multiple governments in Europe for Android Wilson to actually come out and tell us <laughs> their new schemes to rape children of their pocket money. Views my own, buddy. Views my own. I um, like it. I like it a meanwhile, lot. Meanwhile, Bethesda confirms E3 show. So uh, there Good we are. Good news. That That'll one. be Doom Eternal. And uh, maybe we'll see another like three seconds of Elder Scrolls 6. Who knows? Skyrim 2. Yeah. Sky, yeah. Skyrimming. Sky, <laughs> Skyrimmer. Yeah, Skyrimmer. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, could be. <laughs> uh, what else? I, I don't well, know. This was, news. This was kind of last week's news. Uh, customers buying the physical disc version of the Division Two can expect a 50 gig day one patch on Xbox One and PC, and a 90 gig day one patch on PS4. Yeah, that's always nice. <coughs> that's video Hope games. Everyone. That's that's video Hope games. So that's another that. thing about Stadia or wherever it is. Stadia. Don't have no to get patches. updates. No patches. No updates. Mate, just. Five seconds, mate, in you go. That's the thing on GeForce Now. I'd be like, oh, I want to play this game. And it's like, oh, let me just download that to Steam for you. I've done it. I was ah! like, okay. 
Done. Yeah. Uh, Crackdown 2 is now backwards compatible on Xbox One and free. There you go. It's free and backpack. Download it. Uh, I played a bit of Crackdown 3 this week. It's uh, it's still just as bad. I'd say it's or just, it's, just, just as good. I guess just as good. There you go. That's another way of looking just at the, it. It's just as good. It's the most seven out of ten game I think I've ever played <sighs> in my life. Nice. I love a good seven out of ten game every now and again. <laughs> uh, the Division Two physical sales are twenty percent that of the first game. Um, it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, no, it just means that Euro physical gamer, sales don't exist anymore. Eurogamer's got a massive hard on for these physical sales stats. Yeah. Uh, presumably because it's there isn't the only really, stats you can get. Well, there isn't really video game news, is there? Because it's video <laughs> games. So it's not really news. Um, <laughs> Just got to make it up so, as you go along. Uh, the absolute irrelevance of the idea that a game that came out like three years ago versus a game that's coming out now in terms of like disc based is kind of irrelevant. Um, but either way, yeah, it's sold very poorly physically. Um, but so what? Uh, and then <laughs> is this finally, I think this is finally, yeah, finally for me, but I've saved this one to last because this is very fun. Um, Epic's been in trouble. I don't know oh. if you've heard about this. Oh, um, no tea. It turns out that the Epic launcher uh, has been accessing your Steam data even if your Steam profile is set to private. So uh, apparently, uh, if you choose to import your Steam friends, okay, uh, the program the program scans the Steam file local config, uh, which is a system file with all of your personal like uh, Steam information. Uh, all of your like install information, anything like Steam related locally, yeah, um, and it just accesses it, and, well, and you know, Epic stores that. <laughs> so mine yeah, now. Games yeah. you've purchased, um, Epic responded in the most baffling way ever, um, saying, "Oh no, you know, it's uh, it's only accessing like your local profile, and there's only like one dude who's got access to it." That's what they came back with. It's one dude. It's just one dude. But that one dude is the internet pirate. (laughs) Yeah, it's just him, though. So don't worry. Like, fuck GDPR, buddy. Like, Who needs that shit? It's only only this one dude called, like, Jeff or something. Mm, Jeff the pirate. He can have your fucking data, surely. (laughs) He's he's Um, happy. (laughs) So, anyway, uh, essentially there was, like, some sort of stupid flame war on the internet followed by Epic responding saying that they'll fix it. Uh, everyone really is just wondering why the fuck uh, they would make it so that it did that in the first place without mentioning it. Um, and then Valve responded a couple of days later saying, what? what? <laughs> like, <laughs> no one should be accessing your personal data. Uh, certainly not third parties. Um, yeah. And not really them either. Like, it's in their sort of T's and C's that they won't like, yeah. <laughs> hold your data. So they were pretty unimpressed. Obviously, they, they'd stick the knife in if they could. It's a direct competitor. Obviously. Um, Bunch of cunts. And then Epic kind of tried to soften the blow somewhat by sort of, you know, going look at the shiny, shiny, saying that they're targeting May for cloud saves, uh, which is something that uh, all of the consoles, including the Switch, already does. So... um well done. <laughs> well done there. Uh, so, yeah, there you go, buddy. That's uh, Epic, who uh, are kind of looking a little like a company that's never tried to run a game store before uh, whilst yeah. running a game store. I think yeah. that's, is that I fair mean, to say? <laughs> I, I think, think that's fucking spot on, mate. There you go. I yeah, mean, but, uh, it's just retarded, really. Yes. Uh, I don't really know what's going to happen there. Probably nothing because this is video games and everyone apparently can just do whatever the fuck they want, even if it's illegal. So there we are. Um, that's my news, buddy. I think it's probably time for me to hand over to you for my favourite section, and I'm sure the listeners as well. And that, of course, is Ash's News Favourite Things of the Fortnight. If you like news but hate information, you have found the right place. Ash's News Favourite Thing of the Week. Oh, shit. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Fortnite stuff. Not stuff about Fortnite, because that's wank. Uh, what have we got here? 
Oxen Free will be uh, the next freebie on the Epic Game Store if you choose to install that. Your Oxen Free. Oxen Free, a very good game though. There you go. I enjoyed that game. It was fun. Very good, yeah. Um, Rumour, we've well, this this is before we knew about Stadia. Um uh, Sega apparently uh, partnering with Google on next gen console. Well, I don't think it's a next gen console, but they could be partnering with them. There you go. I uh, mean it, Sega, they're like, what, there's no hardware involved? Count us in. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Uh what else have we got here? What's this? Uh, Remedy's upcoming uh, Supernatural Thriller Control is scheduled for a summer release. Uh, yes! That looks fucking cool, buddy. Uh, I, I can't I, wait for that. Yeah, I, I want some more information to come out about that, really, because, um, well, you played... Um, Quantum want, Break. Yeah, I, wanted, I was going to say Unbreakable, but yeah, it's Quantum Break, that's the one. Um, and uh, you gave it a good review, I guess. Um, I liked it, I liked it. It wasn't amazing. But mm. it was it was seven really out of ten. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Nice. Just a bit better than Tomb Raider. Then yeah. Okay. Little, just, just just eclipses Tomb Raider somewhat. Just and by the way, nice. that's another game I fired up this week um, and have now deleted as oh. the missus the missus started. She uh, she went over to the kitchen drawers actually, buddy, and she uh, popped open the old cutlery drawer there. We've got. Um, we got some new knives this yeah. week, so the old the old knives are in the drawer there and and are kind of expendable at this point. They were kind of old plasticky things, whereas the new ones, you know, they're really quite nice. Uh, stainless steel, got a really good sort of, you know, it's got the sort of the, you know, the rock to it. You've got that gap there. Anyway, so the the old knives are in the drawer there, and as Tomb Raider continued on. Uh, wrestling control from us every 30 seconds as this fucking awful Lara Croft bitch like actor is is chatting away um, with exposition, exposition, exposition when the game's thoroughly dreadful. She was heading towards the knife drawer because she was like, well, I I need to do something here. So I I can only assume, I didn't ask, but I can only assume that she was either going to gouge out her eyes, cut off her ears, slit her wrists, or just repeatedly stab both of us to death. Well, um, you know, might some as well. sort of glorious anyway, Valhalla for the pair of us mm. as we uh, escape the absolute misery and sorrow of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, but in the end, I just turned it off. Well, yeah, that's one way to fix the the issue of um, well, you know dying or getting stabbed. Just stop yeah. playing it. Yeah, nice. Uh, Castle Crashers uh, has been <laughs> confirmed for the Switch, and I think the PS4, maybe not, I don't care. Castle Crashers was a great game, like, 12 years ago, or whatever it came out. I don't know if it's, it's, very good. If it's worth a, a remaster or whatever. Mate, this, they're this they're get that thing running on the Switch, are they? Might as well get wow. it running on the Switch. They're like, well, that's a platform where people literally buy anything new or old. Um, so we might as well fucking make some money out of it again. Uh, but yeah. Kudos to him. It was a very, very good game. Who was it? Behemoth? Great game. I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Uh, the Doom Annihilation debut trailer is terrible. Uh, I suggest everyone give it a watch. It's fucking terrible. This is um, obviously a film. Uh, probably straight to DVD, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um. Yeah, give it a watch. Doom Annihilation. Definitely worth uh, worth something to watch. Um, Apex Legends. Um, data miners suggest uh, that Titans may be inbound. They've already added, like, jump pads, which is oh, fine, sure. Uh, but, yeah, Titans. That might be cool. I don't know. I played a few hours of uh, Apex Legends, actually, with uh, PJ, a.k.a. Dizzle, uh, last week. And uh, we had one round with some numpty, where between us we got 12 kills. It was amazing. We came second, That's nice. though. Yeah, it was, it was really good, actually. We smashed it. Um, Do you think that um, Apex Legend is actually just promotional material for Titanfall 3? <laughs> I mean, if it is, then holy fuck, they've done a very good job with that promotional material. But I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Just so Respawn can be like... Because Titanfall just has never sold as much as it should have done, despite being yeah. brilliant. And this is just an example where Respawn could be like, see? 
Like, <laughs> look, 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 look what we can do. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe we'll see what happens with Titanfall 3. Even if it is Titanfall 3 that comes out, who knows? Um, PSVR wireless headset pattern appears online. Ooh. That'd be handy for the next gen, no wise. Um, I had to, um, uh, obviously, because I had to, well, whilst um, redecorating my room, as in stripping the wallpaper, I rejigged all my PlayStation VR, so it's now nicely sat underneath my table. I can access it real easy, like, so that's handy. Nice. Um, EA Access, I hear you say. Um, that service that, you know, if it was on PlayStation, we'd have it, because just seems like a good idea, really, to me. We play sports games, and that's about it with some other things that EA do, but not really, because they're a bit shit. I guess Battlefield, but I wouldn't play that anymore. Maybe. Yeah. If I had EA access, I probably would play it. Either way, uh, firstly, uh, it was leaked on... It was spotted on Brazilian PSN store um, on... um, I don't know when that was, on the 17th. And then um, two days later... Uh, has been reinforced uh, in EA Access source code. So it looks like PlayStation 4 users could be seeing EA Access, buddy. Oh, that's nice. Which would be nice. Yeah. There you go. Uh, So finally, buddy. Oh, yeah. Finally. um, Good news story of the week. Why not? Unknown NES game lost for 30 years has now been digitised and finished. Okay. So, uh, the game... Um, uh, da, 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 UWC, uh, an NES game that has been hidden from the world for 30 years, was uncovered last week. Uh, one of the first orders of business was getting the game off a cartridge and into the digital realm so that it could be properly preserved. Uh, the new game owner, uh, some guy... In Akron, I think, um, said, uh, da, 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 da. thanks to all the people, uh, the Video Game History Foundation for the, all the stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here we go, uh, saying, uh, we were more than happy to lend our expertise and digitize the game for its owner. So, fucking, there's, um, a video on YouTube, um, UWC NES prototype tag team wrestling is it I think okay um and yeah it's just like it's a wrestling game <laughs> on the NES that <laughs> has been lost for 30 years and now it is all out there it's been all digitized and, and it's playable that's and pretty everything. cool man yeah I love seeing shit like this it's fucking crazy it's Give awesome me. but yeah so there you go buddy there's uh, there's my news favourite things of this week. Oh, well, thanks very much, buddy. That was your news. Before that, of course, was my news. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the news. And now it's time for Out This Week. Let's take a look at some games coming out this week. Probably filled with microtransactions the crazy pay to win mechanics. Because fuck you all fuck you all fuck you all fuck you all buy our shit and that's out last week and this week is it oh I don't know no just this week just this week yeah fuck last week it was wank You'll never know what came out last you'll, week. You'll never know. There's, or care. There's no way of finding out. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't be done. Uh, this no. week, though, uh, we've got Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII on the Xbox One and Switch. Yeah. Um, Final Fantasy VII. The, yeah, okay. That's coming out. Uh, Generation Zero. Uh, it's coming to PS4, Xbox One, and PC. This is from Avalanche, the creators of Just Cause. It is a co-op robot post-apocalyptic Sweden. Um, it looks like... I suppose it looks like a Battle Royale game without the other teams. Um, right. It's, it's, it's like an open-world action RPG co-op game. Um... 
very mixed responses so far from what I've read. Uh, brilliant on paper, but a lot of cookie cutter gameplay, kind of a lot of cookie cutter world design, like running into the same building over and over again and that sort of thing. There's a lot of Love good it. ideas in there by the looks, but uh, it's just not really there yet. A lot of people saying it feels very early access considering it's a game that's like hard launching. Um, do, it's certainly interesting though. Do, do the numbers go up? Uh, I, I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. I know you collect loot in buildings and stuff. Is there numbers um, attached to that loot? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, you, you, you've already, uh, you know, put me off the game by saying it seems early access. I'm like, no, no, then I'm okay. It, yeah, I mean, who can say? It's uh, it looks ropey, but it also looks <laughs> very promising, uh, and it's not it could a full be great, price, but also RRP. not. Yeah. As, as like our most quid early game. access games, yeah, okay. It just doesn't look finished. It's kind yeah, of running well, the Just Cause engine, um, and really, people have always wanted a multiplayer Just Cause. They've never really managed to do that. Avalanche, presumably, no, because of modders the fact did that though. Their look engine barely runs for one person. Yeah, um, try sticking multiple people in there. It's just gonna be <laughs> yeah. a fucking shit show, isn't it? <coughs> but maybe with the power of the cloud, buddy, <coughs> you know, they could get there. They may well do, buddy, but um, either way, <clears throat> I think this is worth keeping an eye on. Okay. We'll but, do that. Uh, yeah. We shall see. Uh, elsewhere, MLB The Show 19, buddy. Nice. Woo! Big fans. Uh, <clears throat> hopefully that'll mean that MLB The Show 18 drops down to like eight pounds and then I can buy it. Yeah, mate. Do that. I like buying the baseball games a year behind... Um, it's nearly get, like, time for me to buy an NHL game again, you know, because I think the last <laughs> yes. one I had was 17. <clears throat> yeah, um, and, and I had MLB the show... I think I might have had 18. I don't know, or 17. Um, I think it was 17. Either way, um, one of it, them. It's, time, it's time for me to buy a new baseball game. I tend to get about <laughs> 40, 50 hours of fun out of it. Yeah, um, exactly. That's usually what you for need. a tenner or less, so uh, that's fucking value, buddies. Elsewhere, we've got the Princess Guide, which is a cutesy RPG for the PS4 and Switch. Uh, we've got uh, The Walking Dead, the final season, episode four for <laughs> the PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Um, good Lord, honestly. Yeah. Um, Yoshi's Crafted World arrives on the Switch on March the 29th. Uh, we've got Tropico 6 arriving on PS4, know. Xbox One, and PC. Okay. Um <clears throat> Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered and Liberation Remastered are for some reason arriving on PS4, Xbox One and PC this week. Fucking sweet. And finally, um, a real fucking turd of a game from what I can tell from the videos that I've watched of it. <laughs> American Ninja Warrior is arriving on PS4, Xbox One and Switch this week, buddy. Nice. Uh, I feel like it would have a theme tune like um, Police, uh, whatever it is, the fucking South Park thing, was it? World Police. What's oh, the fucking film? Team, Team America. America. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's got that to it. American Ninja Warrior. Um, of course, this is the, uh, the Obstacle Course game show. Um, oh, okay. And this oh, is okay. the game, yeah, I know what it is now, of yeah. The show. <laughs> So it's like, what was that really, the Doritos Crash Course or whatever it was? Yes, you remember well the remembered, Avatar buddy. one? Yeah, I mean, I know. Yeah. I know video games. Question It is me. essentially that, except this is, this. I think from what I've seen, this is more like an Olympics game with lots of like QTEs and button mashing and that I sort of thing. I love QTEs. I mean, in they're, a, they're, just, they're the best form of game. dog of an engine as well. Oh, um, I mean, you're selling it to me. So well. It's a thing of beauty, buddies. Uh, have a look, a look on YouTube, American Ninja Warrior. Check out the Switch version. That one's got the best graphics. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the power, uh, I get you. Gibbons, buddy. Uh, it makes that, sense. That is out this week, and uh, I think it's time we moved on. And I am losing my voice at this point in proceedings. Oh, my throat is hurting. 
real bad right now. We'll press on. We'll press on, buddy. And now it's time for Fuckwit Corner. Fuckwit Corner with Funk. Fuckwit Corner with Funk. He's getting questions. Funk. Funk. Has he got any questions? Now he's fucking back. The funk is back in in the UK and uh, immediately attacks something that you like. No, uh, that's fine. Funk, is funk allowed to. as is tradition. As is tradition. Funk, funk says, had a few rounds of Apex Legends. Obviously, trying it by yourself isn't ideal, but not sure I really liked it. Just all felt a bit cunty. So far, I've preferred the COD version we played before I left. And by the COD version, he means Black Battle Cow. Royale. Yeah. Yeah, Black Cow. Black Cow. Um, I, I, I haven't played Apex Legends. Um, I would certainly say you can't judge it if you've only played it on your own. Um, yeah, obviously playing these types of games on your own, um, like a, a team shooters, uh, it, you're not going to get the, the most out of it. Um, the whole thing about these games, uh, playing them with your mates, uh, calling shots out. Uh, pinging shit, saying, this is here, do you need this, whatever, blah 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 I'm with him, um, with the cunty statement. I think it's um, the fact that, you know, it's it's a fucking free-to-play game. I think uh, that might be why he, he feels it's a bit cunty with, like, the presentation of, like, how you come in, your all the fucking loot boxes and stuff that are in it and shit All like the that. bullshit. Yeah. All the bullshit. Uh, but if you strip that away and just... Like focus on the gameplay itself. Uh, I find it very, very good. The shooting's very good. Um, <clears throat> like I, I know earlier, I said, "What's up with all the fucking running, jumping, and sliding?" But in this game, the running, jumping, and sliding is really good. <laughs> Respawn do nail it. Um, yes, uh, and that's it. A is, it is inherently game. cunty, though. That sort of like that sort of movement method. Is, yeah, it's just inherently like wanky, but at yeah. the same time, it's done very well in, yeah. in Respawn games as a rule. Yeah. Also, um, I don't, I don't know if he means cunty in the fact that battle royales can be cunty as well. You know, uh, the fact Which that they can, you know, you, you you could land and get the best shit ever, you know, or you could land and get absolutely nothing. Uh, I, I had a game, I didn't have a gun for about five minutes. I was just running around. It was fucking retarded. Uh, you know, um, I have had, I have had no desire to play this game. I've got it installed. I wouldn't expect you to, buddy, to be honest. I just don't give a fuck about Battle Royale games, to be honest. I I think, like, um, I I don't know, do do, do you play any kind of online competitive stuff at all? Like, apart from maybe FIFA? I don't. I I, I think that's where it is, isn't it, really? I wouldn't play FIFA competitively if we could do, like, 2v2s on it. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I just don't think that you're... You're one for playing competitive online games anymore. No, I don't. I don't want to play anyone I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I just I don't find it very exciting. I, I'm not up for a massive challenge. I certainly yeah. don't want my gaming as limited as it is these days to be ruined by other people. Yeah, man. Um, I just want some fun, really. So Gibbons. yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> it does make sense. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe if Funk jumps in with like you and and the Dizzle at some point, he'll maybe feel a little bit different about this game. But uh, yeah, we shall see. I guess. To, to be honest, like uh, I I uh, I'm not playing it nearly as much as I did when it first came out. Uh, mainly because other games have come out since then, like Anthem and The Division Two. So uh, my focus is elsewhere. Um, I I thought I was going to get more into this but i don't know i i I think it's the fact that you know with battle royales it's just one fucking map and that's it it's a bit samey you know and i like to diversify um like at least have more than one thing to do i think i don't know maybe maybe not no, I'm with you completely. Uh, I can't think of anything more dull than continually flying, just, landing just, on a, yeah, the same doing map, the same dying, map doing it again. Over like, and over. And, you're like... Definition yeah. of madness, isn't it? I just... 
Yeah, I don't it's know. It's all gone. It's all gone, mate. It's, it's all yeah. Gone. I just I don't know. <clears throat> At least with like shooters, you've got like you know like ten different maps, you know, which is better than one. No. Yeah, uh, I, I don't thought. really get it. I, I feel like yeah, I, I don't even like I don't even need to explain to anyone anymore like where I'm coming from on this. Everyone's just like on the same page now. Like I've gone through the like the difficult fucking second album of. Being like, no, I don't want to play these new fucking games, and this is why. And yeah. now, now everyone's just fully aware. Like, I don't give a fuck about. I've had the Division Two installed on my console since since it launched, and, and I haven't even fired it up. Like, I haven't yeah. even loaded it, and that seems mental to me. But at the same time, like, I just don't, I don't care about it at all. It's it's really weird. Like, and it's not like a like losing my love for games at all. Not in any way. No, because like you, you'll still play stuff. like um, a decent like single player or like a, even like a single player RPG. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So maybe I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I just don't care about like perceived progression. I think is the thing. Um, but is it shooters though? Like, no, it's, a, it's kind you- of it. It seems to be anything really. Like. I don't care about loot and I don't care about progression. I, d- I don't see a level going up as progress. And But you, you chuck like the hundreds of hours into like The Witcher, though. I know, but that was a story. I was yeah. the star of a movie. Um, and the world was beautifully realised. So yeah, it was kind understandable, of, yeah. And I don't think that looter shooters can live with that in terms of, like quality of scripting and no they're nowhere like, near like and they're not trying to and, and it would be no, of course they're like not. super been... stupid to have a go at yeah, them for that but exactly um i don't know i think to be honest i think i, I should probably fire up the division two at some point the way it scales as well like I, i'd probably get a kick out of it but the thing i didn't like about the original game was the fact that uh, it was it was the nature of the health of the enemy is the bullet sponginess and that hasn't yeah. changed at all has it no so, not really not necessarily it's i want to headshot someone and they die you so, want more realism in your uh, shooting games i guess i do yeah i don't know i don't know why i want i'm just a fucking knobhead but either way <laughs> um <laughs> thanks very much for that fun because it's good to have Gibbons. you back um and uh, yeah maybe we'll get the chance to uh, fire up a bit of royalage at some point, buddy. That'd be quite cool. Um, Gibbons. Presumably. Um, <laughs> so let's move on. Every week we end the show with questions and comments sent in by you. If you've got anything for us, just pop an email to the JFG podcast at gmail.com or contact us on Facebook, Twitter, or at justforgamers.co.uk. And now it's time for JFG Street Beat. You got a question we want to know. Facebook, Twitter, we're on a mall. So hit us up and be on the show. Street Beat. The JFG Street Beat. Mm, Street Beat. We want to know. Get on the show. Get on the show. And uh, who's on the show? JJ's on the show. Here he is. He says this. Hey buddies, so I finally have a free moment to spew my opinions while sitting at jury duty. So before I break out the single greatest gaming hardware that I finally have a reason to use, long live the Vita, (laughs) first, (laughs) Anthem is even more garbage than Destiny. I I think the verticality graphics and overall Iron Manness is solid, but fucking hell. Supposed to be a looter, not a shit story game where you have to choose some benign answer between load screens. Yep. Can't get to the fun part fast enough. True. There you go. Uh, Apex was solid for about 30 hours and now I'm bored as fuck. Seems yep. like we could get down to the late last squad or two and every time they have better armor than we could find. $20 for a skin. What the fuck? Have they never... <laughs> Sheer as sheep. Don't get it. When I was having fun, they probably could have got me for three or four bucks, but $20? Fuck right off. (laughs) Sadly, the game industry is going the way of the movie, and 
looks like we may get one or two decent games a year and a great game once every five. I actually yeah. think the Division 2 might be one of the good ones. <laughs> this is like a fucking greatest hits of Ash's opinions in James's yeah. comments. <laughs> it's, just like, it's, it's fucking like, he, he's on point on everything he's saying here. It's fucking I, I have to agree with the, the movie thing, by the way. Like, it, yeah. it really does feel like I, I, it's crept up on me, the, the movie thing now, where I realize I haven't been to the cinema for ages. And it's like, well, I really should go to the cinema. And then it's like, there's what not been anything I, I wanted to fucking see. Fucking yeah, exactly. There. Yeah, exactly. Um, like, why? So game wise, yeah, like obviously, there's probably loads of underground movies that are really cool, like arty movies and shit. And Ooh. by the same token, there's lots of like little cool indie video games coming out. But in terms of like the AAA main event, it re- he he's bang on with that. Like one or two decent games a year. So and, just like, fucking sequels of sequels and just absolute yeah, wank, rehashed, so bollocks. boring. So yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um. Uh, JJ says, to finish off this particular comment, this one was from last week, and he's chipped in again this week as well, so thanks very much for that. Um, uh, He says, building a new rig with so much RGB jizz. Post the pics in Discord when done. Took Thursday or Friday off to get lit up in the build. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Fucking sweet as the punch. And that picture is in there now, and it It is is glorious. It is fantastic. It is very much... uh, yeah, a wonderful fucking colorific shit show. I love yeah. it. <laughs> uh, we were having a, a bit of a private chat in our thing about like, because uh, I was like, yeah, uh, fucking, it looks amazing, and uh, like, what case I want to get, and uh, then we started talking about all the different like, like fucking LED shit you can get in there, and how like they're not cross compatible, and like if you choose one, you've got to stick with it. You uh, know, it's a fucking minefield all that shit it's a it's a right ball back, but yeah definitely something that when i've got some spare cash i'll be getting a new case for my pc because the one i've got right now it's a bit old and shitty i'm not gonna lie there's not I mean, not enough lights and it's no gonna panel. Get to the stage isn't it i mean you're the whole thing is getting on isn't it it's gonna get to the stage where you're gonna need to probably rebuild i mean certainly the process is like I mean, I, it's fucking smashing this right now, though. And this is all <laughs> I'm really using it for. Like, and if I play games, they're only going to be like on high to max on 1080p. I mean, I won't run things at 4K. That's just a bad idea, really. That's yeah, a fair point. It's a fair so, point. Yeah. I don't know. fucking plays Minecraft like a legend. This computer, oh, it's beautiful. fucking amazing. <laughs> play that at 4K all day, mate. Oh, lovely stuff, buddy. Yeah. Fucking sweet. Um, yeah, JJ chipped in later in the week, having played uh, a little bit more of Division Two, buddy, to, uh, to say a little bit more about it. And again, echo, I think your thoughts from earlier. <laughs> um, gonna have to jump in and heap more praise on the Division Two. I can't even get to my missions because I come across some other content. Level fourteen, and my map is lit up like a Christmas tree. Still, just unlocked Dark Zone and three more zones on PVE. Hope other developers take note. Of course, I'm a cunt and still have some gripes, but overall really impressed. Sadly, I still think this should be standard instead of being so impressed that someone made a decent game. That being said, right now I'm hooked. Yeah, totally. Uh, Especially the whole bit of, you know, uh, I still think it should be standard. It should be. Like, games should just come out and fucking work. Uh, it's, It's not... Yeah, and that, giant that should open be world it, games you know. should be full of content to justify yeah, the fact exactly. that they're giant open world it, games. It shouldn't be a thing where like it comes out and there's like, oh, here's here, and then you know, two months down the line, we're getting the next act, like Anthem was. It's like, <laughs> yeah. fucking terrible. Absolute pullbacks, you know. But Jeez. yeah, Division 2 is, is fucking awesome. Uh, the fact that, you know, once you're in, you're in. You know, there's no loading between missions or anything. It's it's fucking seamless. There was a fucking... There's a mission um, where you, you get to the, the mission start location and you walk up to this, like, gate. Some guy just walks, like, past it and you're like, oh, shit, I've got to shoot him. And one of the, uh, like... Um, good AI just fucking comes around and stabs him in the neck and I was like whoa what the fuck what the hell just happened I was like it was so seamless I was just like fucking hell that was amazing so good 
No, no, little sorry. things like that, buddy. Little things like that make a big difference. <laughs> it's the little things in many ways, it buddy. Is. It is. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. It is. Well, uh, either way, uh, thanks so much for all of that, JJ. That's uh, that's beautiful stuff. And uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been all going in the old Discord, hasn't it, this week, buddy? We've also had a yeah, Gibbons. comment from our other glorious benefactor, Cosmic <laughs> Dad. Yeah, uh, yeah, he, he he popped into the chat and uh, said, uh, "So uh, it appears your podcast has a fan in an editor for the Register, uh, which is like an online magazine, I think it is." Um, he, he goes on to say, "Where else would he get uh, number Wang from?" And um, the title of the post was something to do with uh, it was when um, was it Google Cloud did the the pie thing got like the most numbers of pi and they said like uh, and that's number wang or something like that i think in the title and uh yeah no we we totally stole the word number wang buddy yes 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 we did was it mitchell and webb or something i can't remember where it yeah, was from. Uh, yeah uh the it's a sketch show um from uh, David Mitchell and Robert Webb, who are most mm. famous for probably Peep Show, which I think was yeah. was yeah. Um, but yeah, they they had a sort of a sketch show called that Mitchell and Webb look, and yeah. uh, that it was a, a pretend game show called Number Wang. The concept of which was that <laughs> it was absolutely impenetrable rules wise. Like you couldn't work out what the fuck was going on. <laughs> uh, just search Number Wang on YouTube. I'm sure it'll pop up. It's fucking hilarious. But yeah. yeah. It's, it's like several contestants in a studio. The rules for the game change like every eight seconds. It's a complete farce. And um, yeah, there's something to be said for that mission and web look, man. Like there's so many things in there that I have like crept into my vocabulary. Yeah, it's, it's weird, stuff. isn't it? Yeah. I still think my favourite, the, the, my two favourites, the one where he's uh, announcing all of the football that's going to be on on Sky Sports he's just walking around a football pitch. He's just like, yeah. you know, the giants of Manchester take on the behemoths of Newcastle, making them both look normal-sized. And he's yeah. just like, the football, no one will ever win the football. It will always continue, the football. <laughs> and then our personal favourite, I think, was the the one where, <laughs> one where they're shooting a porno and the, the guy's like <laughs> pounded away and he just he keeps being like, now we know. Now we know. Now we know. And it's just something that they can't You're doing it again. You're doing it again. again. (laughs) Am I? Why would I be saying now? Yeah, it's it's fucking funny. uh, Now we know. Oh, well, now worth we a know. Little, we know now. We know now. <laughs> well worth a little trip to YouTube, buddies, to look up some Mitchell and Webb. Uh, very fucking funny. Um, even Gibbons. some of their like older stuff. They used to have a sketch on this show called Bruiser, where this mm. dude was trying to kill his wife, and he just kept popping up like in various like shops and shit. So he'd just be in like the travel agents, and he'd just pop up from beside the counter and be like, "Do you do poison?" Do you do, do you do holidays that could kill someone? Do you do, you do holidays that could kill this woman by like holding a picture of his wife? Up? <laughs> Fucking funny. It's good shit. But yeah, yeah that's number wang, buddies. That, that is, is number wang. wang. That's number wang. And that's a couple of people much funnier than us. And that's probably <laughs> a good way to end the show. Yeah. <laughs> Give us. So yeah, I think that'll about do us, buddy. Uh, thanks very much to everyone who's contributed this week. It's been a it's been a right old cheeky affair, and uh, yeah, it's been a, a little bit of a longer one than we've had for a while, buddy. But only fair considering we missed last week, and uh, and we had a new game, and fucking hell, game. we had loads of shit in Street Beat, and f- fuck with corners back, mate. Yeah, you know, and uh, Google announced their fucking streaming service that I couldn't give a fuck about, really. Yeah, man. 10.7 teraflops. But, you know, VM. everyone in the industry has got a massive hard-on for it now because it's the news. It's like, ah, oh, there's, there's news on gaming. Oh, it's all new. Oh, it stirs things this. up, doesn't it? Oh, fuck off. The, I- the idea of buying, like, a a box full of, like, powerful hardware and then Google are just like, here's some 4K60 gaming. With no hardware. There you go. Oh no, virtual machines. Yeah. If it works, uh, and that's the main thing. Uh, so, so yeah. Um, 
I think that'll about do us. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, I'm just about made it to the end of the show. My voice is really yeah, going. Yeah, my throat is killing me. Ugh, seriously, I was on the phone all day at work, and then I've been talking all night. So there we are. Uh, these things can happen. But Gibbons. Uh, I'm going to go rest it, maybe soak in another, another bottle of Stella, buddy. And uh, we'll catch you next time, buddies. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, we'll catch you next time. And uh, until then, I've been Alex, and uh, he has been Ash. Goodbye. Farewell. <laughs> You've been listening to the JFG Podcast with Ash and me, Alex. You can find us at www.thejfgpodcast.co.uk where you'll also find our Discord and Street Beat if you want to get involved with the show. Our Facebook is forward slash the JFG Podcast and our Twitter handle is at the JFG Podcast. We're on all those video streaming sites too, buddies, from ChewTube to Twitch.tv forward slash the JFG Podcast to Mixer.com, aka Beam.FuckingPro. We've got a PS4 community you can join. Just search the JFG Podcast on there. And we're also on Google Plus if that is how you choose to live your life. Thanks so much for listening, buddies. We'll catch you next time. Mm-hmm.